Hi guys, today topic is uh, extracting of metals. We are going to extract now uh, the metals which is present in low series. So, in the low reactivity series, which metals are present? They are less reactive or unreactive. Okay. Now we are going to extract the metals from its ore. So first, what I'm going to take means oxides that uh, metals we should not extract directly. It is present. Uh, in their sulfides and oxides forms from that we will extract that metals okay and these metals can be reduced directly by heating heating is the main process and the direct heating in presence of air in presence of air we can extract the less reactive metals this is the procedure for uh, less reactive metals which is present in low reactivity series so i'm going to take uh, any metal sulfide uh, for example uh, cinnabar hgs mercury sulfide this is an ore of mercury this is an ore of mercury this is present in the sulfide form of mercury mercury sulfide which is known as cinnabar i'm going to take this ore and i'm going to do the heating process then it will be converted into oxide this mercury sulfide will be converted into mercuric oxide then again the heating process is i'm doing then this mercury oxide is reduced to mercury okay uh, heating process only i'm doing with in presence of air um, the mercury sulfide is converted into mercury oxide then again i'm heating this mercury oxide is converted is reduced into mercury now i will write the equations for this reaction first what i'm going to take uh, sulfide form of mercury uh, mercuric sulfide i'm taking and i'm just heating in presence of air uh, which one is present in air oxygen so i'm writing here oxygen so when i'm heating what will come this mercury sulfide is converted into mercury oxide hgo mercury oxide plus this sulfide and oxygen is joined together to as what was also formed again i am going to heat this mercuric oxide to hgo i am just heating then what will come this mercuric oxide is reduced to mercury and oxygen is separated this will happen when i am heating the mercuric sulfide this mercuric sulfide oxygen is present in air both are reacting with each other this so2 is liberated and balance oxygen is joined with this hg and mercury oxide formed and then i again i am heating this mercury oxide mercury and oxygen we obtained finally we get the metal another one example for the less reactive metal i am going to take copper sulfide so i'm going to take this copper sulfide in presence of air i'm just heating in presence of air i'm just heating okay what will happen this copper sulfide is converted into copper oxide okay copper sulfide is converted into copper oxide and sulfur dioxide formed okay this is joining with this and sulfur dioxide formed and also copper oxide now i'm going to heat this copper oxide again again i am just heating this copper oxide with copper sulfide what will happen means this copper liberated and sulfur dioxide formed totally it is a 4 5 6 copper and sulfur dioxide formed so like this copper sulfide from the copper sulfide we are getting the pure copper now the middle of the activity series uh, metals how they are reacting how we are going to extract that metals um and these metals are in the form of sulfides and carbonates sulfides and another one is carbonates they are in the form of their sulfides and carbonates and uh, we are heating the sulfides by strongly heating the heat process is going to done on these sulfides uh, i'm going to heat this strongly and i'm extracting the metal so this procedure is known as roasting i'm extracting the metal from their sulfides by heating strongly and that process is known as roasting and next one is carbonates 
the same procedure i'm heating the carbonates very strongly and that process is known as calcination so there is two different process but the procedure was same here the main thing is sulfides and here the main thing is carbonates i'm heating both strongly and i'm getting the uh, metal and this process is known as roasting and this process is known as calcination now we are going to see the derivation for roasting and calcination process so middle of the activity series which metal i am taking means uh, uh, zinc i am taking zinc it is in the form of zinc sulfide okay so zinc sulfide i am going to heat this zinc sulfide in presence of air so oxygen is present so this oxygen is reacting with this zinc sulfide what will happen means uh, sulfide is converted into the oxide so zinc oxide will form it. zinc oxide will form it. plus sulfur dioxide also formed so this process is known as roasting process i'm just directly heating their sulfides and it is converted into their oxides okay and next one is calcination we are going to see the process of calcination process calcination means um, now zinc carbonate i am taking the same metal which is in the carbonates in the form of carbonate zinc carbonate i'm just uh, heating that zinc carbonate what will happen means it, the zinc carbonate is converted into zinc oxide plus carbon dioxide is liberated zinc carbonate again this uh, zinc oxide i'm going to react zinc oxide is reacting with strong reducing agent carbon carbon is a strong reducing agent i'm just reacting this zinc oxide with carbon what will happen means a zinc is liberated separately and carbon monoxide will form okay so calcination process means what the metal is in their form of carbonate form so zinc carbonate i am taking here and i am heating it is converted into zinc oxide and co2 is liberated then the zinc oxide i am going to react the zinc oxide with carbon it is a strong reducing agent we have to reduce the uh, metal from its oxide we have to extract the metal from its oxide so i am reacting with carbon strong reducing agent i am getting the zinc and carbon monoxide we are using carbon uh, to reduce the metals so sometimes when we are using carbon displacement reaction also will takes place uh, for example strong reactive metals such as uh, sodium calcium uh, aluminium when we are reacting with this strong metals what will happen means displacement reaction will happen sometimes okay uh, the less reactive metal will be replaced displaced the less reactive metal is displaced by the strong reactive metals for example uh, manganese oxide i am taking manganese oxide is reacting with aluminium what will happen means this strong reactive aluminium is displacing here so uh, manganese is separated and aluminium oxide is also formed and high amount of heat also evolved high amount of heat also evolved um, it's an exothermic reaction uh, so metals are produced um, by using very high heat high heat is produced so we can get the metal in the molten state only because high heat is here came out so this is an exothermic reaction for example i am oxide with aluminium iron oxide with aluminium and this reaction is known as thermit reaction what means thermit reaction why means high amount of heat will evolve over here and this reaction is used to join railway tracks and used to uh, for the cracking pots machinery pots this reaction only used ion oxide is reacting with aluminium what will happen means ion will be dis separated and aluminium oxide will be formed and high amount of heat is produced so this is known as thermite reaction